every single time I'm doing something like manifesting, I realize I was really just praying. God isn't even going to put things in your life till you remove certain people from your circle. Stop idolizing money slash the hustle mentality. Oh, I'm telling y'all my business, y'all. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Jeter BNA. Thank you so much for tuning into today's girl chat. Super excited to get into some things, but if you are new, go ahead, make sure that you subscribe. Like this video if you want to see more content like this in the near future. And keep on watching so we can get into lessons I've learned in my 20s. Of course, per usual, I will be doing my makeup while we are getting into a little girl chat it's not a tutorial so i won't be listing or showing the products girl because i use the same things over and over again but feel free to ask me in the comments down below if you are interested in anything that i am using okay so i wanted to do a video like this because i'm not trying to give y'all advice and tell y'all how to live y'all lives that's not the type of person I am. However, I know that I have some young subscribers and supporters on my channel. And if I could give you guys any tips and tricks or just share my experiences with you guys to help y'all learn something, then why not use my platform to do just that, right? I have some notes in my phone because I have some particular things that I want to touch bases on and I don't want this video to be all over the place. So the first thing I have is dating is not everything. Leave that man alone. <sighs> and when I say that, I mean it, okay, in the best way possible. So I want y'all to know dating is not everything and take that from someone who has literally been in relationships and situationships all their life, it feels like. Like literally since the eighth grade, I was in a long-term relationship, got out of that relationship, got into another one, spent the block, got back with somebody. Then I entered college in a relationship. I had um, situationships all throughout college. I was just always talking to some boy. And then when I finally decided, okay, hold on now. Y'all been taking too much of my attention. Let me focus on Jutera. My current boyfriend found me. So it's just like, oh my gosh. I am a relationship girly to my core. I'm a lover girl. And if you're anything like me, then you'll be able to thankfully juggle your situationships, relationships, and yourself, okay? You're still able to pour into yourself while pouring into others. And you can balance all the things that you got going on in life while maintaining these relationships, okay? Because we all know it's life. Relationships are important. It's a part of life. And they're going to come and go as you develop and go through life right right but they don't need to be your everything okay and if you aren't good at juggling relationships and your own personal shit then you might you know get the short end of the stick and i don't want that for y'all like at all i know some girls or just have seen people throughout my years of life that put too much focus into other people and then they put themselves on the back burner. They stop taking care of themselves. They stop pouring into themselves. They don't spend time with themselves. Girl, they don't they don't focus on their personal development. Like, girl, get it together. So it's either A or B. A is learn how to maneuver throughout your relationships to the point where you can still juggle all of your responsibilities and make sure that you continuously put yourself as a top priority okay or b hold off on those for a quick minute <laughs> relax let it find you stop putting so much importance in it Girl, almost dropped something. Stop putting so much importance into relationships because they aren't everything. It's so much more to life. It's so much more out here for you, girl, than just a man or a girl or a they, them, whatever you're interested in, you know? It's also very apparent. You are a type of person who, like, your relationship is your entire life, and that's all you talk about when you get around people. That's all you want to focus on. Girl, don't nobody got time for that. No one wants to hear that 24-7, I promise you. So, yeah, moving on. Learn from those around you versus learning through experiences slash mistakes. OMG. All right. So let's take my sister for example. Hey, girl, if you have watched this. My sister does not like to learn from those around her. She don't. She simply don't. Okay. For example, if she was taking a test 
and she took the test after you and you already went through all the testing materials you created notes and whatnot you got a whole outline for the test she don't want your notes okay she's not taking the easy way out she's taking the hard way out and she wants to go through it and take the test herself even if she already predetermined that she may or may not possibly fail this test she's still going to take it without your notes because she wants to learn through her failure herself I am the opposite, okay? I have seen my mom fail at different things through life growing up, and I always took a mental note from things, and I'm like, yeah, that won't be me. Or, oh, I love the way my grandmother or aunt does this. I love the way they life set up, da-da-da. Let me take notes from them. I'm very observant, and I'm going to use the people around me for my benefit. Simple, okay? If y'all can help me figure something out and I don't have to go through it, that saves me time, energy, and effort, and that is what I'm going to do, Okay? Um, for example, like if you grow up and you around someone who hasn't always managed their money well and you see that they have problems with their credit or they're going through things financially, girl, take notes. If you have a friend in college and when y'all got to college, they unfortunately rocked up a whole lot of credit cards and wasn't able to pay them off. And if you are around that person who's able to see the, the mistakes that they made, why not learn from it, okay? It's going to save you time, energy, and effort, and it's going to help you throughout the long run. This is what I'm so excited to get into, and I'm trying not to, like, preach to y'all. But honestly, this is your fair warning, because as I get closer to God, I'm probably going to start mentioning things on my channel, because I feel very, very strongly about them. The next one is stop manifesting, start praying. I just feel like that is a word. Okay, let's get into it. So I got introduced to manifestations in like either late high school years or early college years, one or the other. Someone I used to date introduced manifesting and manifestation to me, right? And I was so excited to learn about it. I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is tough. Like, I, I want to get into this. I want to see how I can benefit my life. I just don't understand now that I'm growing and learning and getting closer to God. I don't understand why people will sit down and manifest to a universe when they can pray to the God that created the universe, the earth, the heavens, everything in between. And that's the hill I'm going to die standing on. Because what? Just sit there and pray, baby. Pray. What are, you, what are you manifesting for? And I get it. You want to write your stuff down, your goals, cross them out. I still I still do that, okay? I journal. I write things down. I... I I make vision boards, but every single time I'm doing something like manifesting, I realized I was really just praying. Every single time I put something on the vision board and I write something down, the last thing I say, like, I'm, I'm kind of talking to God as I'm doing it, and then the last thing I say is amen with a period. I'm really praying the whole time. And then looking back at the person who introduced manifesting to me, it must not be working well because... <laughs> but anyways, not too much on them because that ain't under my business. Pray. Stop putting so much um, importance and value behind manifesting because I feel like that's cap. And there's a better way to attain what's needed for you. And for me, that's prayer. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, we can get into some things. Okay. Stop idolizing money slash the hustle mentality. I recently learned this. Like literally, I'm going to say a couple months ago. Maybe like two three months ago this is very very recent right oh i'm telling y'all my business y'all okay so where's my contour and i only want a little bit of this i put too much of this on yesterday Oof. Oof. anyways stop idolizing money all right little story time i um recently started doing amazon associates right and y'all wasn't expecting that stuff to make me so much money, baby. It made me some money. I was like, okay, let's get into it. Now, I had a little, like, morning routine, right, where I would wake up, and the first thing I do when I open my eyes, I close them back, and I talk to God. I thank him for waking me up. I thank him for waking up my family, friends, and loved ones. I pray for the people around me. Um, I just love going to sleep praying and waking up and praying. It does something to me. I love that that is how I end and start all of my days. Over on the time when I got excited about how much I was making on Amazon, I got really 
in like deeply invested into it right to the point where i was paying so much attention to my numbers okay i was all about increasing my um streams of income especially if they were passive and amazon affiliate links is uh an example of passive income so of course i'm excited about this new goal that i'm reaching however i just got too deeply invested into it to the point where i woke up and my morning prayers started getting a little shorter and um the first thing i would do when i wake up is check my numbers and see how much money i made in my sleep and it's just like, that's something that I wanted to like celebrate. I wanted to celebrate my wins, but I had to ask myself, why do I care so much to the point where I'm making my prayer short and quick to the point just so I can, cause I would, I would do this before I touch my phone. I'm trying to hurry up, go through my prayers so I can touch my phone to see how much money I make. Girl, stop playing. I'm gonna let this concealer dry down a little bit so y'all gonna hear my fan but I want to continue like that is absurd and I started to judge myself so much I know you're not supposed to judge only God can but I really just had to reevaluate some things and say hold on now stop like you're putting a lot of value into money and you don't need to do that relax the money will come to you because the blessings will come because God is there and God ain't gonna leave you. He's in you. He's He's within you. He's by you. He's walking next to you through every step you make. Stop putting so much value into things, materialistic things, money, finances, etc. And start focusing on the blessings that God is giving you. So that's, that was what I had to do to get myself together, okay? Because I was a little ashamed. Not gonna, not gonna lie. I was a little ashamed. And the same goes for the hustle mentality. I realized that um I could sit down and not do anything. And God is not going to judge me because I'm having a lazy day or I'm having a day off and I'm relaxing and I'm, you know, prioritizing my mental health. He's not going to make me go broke just because of that. But God is bigger than me, clearly. I can't take away what he has in store for me. And you guys, when I was thinking of topics to discuss in this, um, get ready with me. I was trying to think of things that you guys haven't already heard of. Like, duh, that's what everyone says. And y'all know a lot of people say, like, don't take advice from people who aren't in a... Uh, who aren't in an ideal situation like don't take don't take advice from someone who you wouldn't trade places with i still stand by that 110 percent however let's flip it also if you know that you aren't in a position to help someone else don't sit there and give them no advice like why would you do that to them i think people should realize that um your opinions are not always like wanted like your and your opinions aren't always needed especially if you know that someone's in a situation where you can't you can't speak on because you don't know nothing about it but yeah still stand by not accepting advice from people you wouldn't trade places with but also don't even offer it okay y'all i've been trying to figure out how people get their under eye not the crease they like have your powder ready before you blend it out so clearly i'm already messing up and then they be saying like look up when you blend it out so it don't crease do one eye at a time who has time for that if you have any tips or tricks let me know in the comments below because i'm still learning clearly we're gonna see how this come out but yeah girl look how it's difficult oh the next one is tea <laughs> the next topic is ex expect your circle to change and this goes for friends and family um and no one really told me this until I was like deep in my 20s girl so I was really confused and bamboozled like literally people I used to live with like family members I used to live with I barely speak to nowadays it's like no bad blood it's no beef but like people I used to like really be close to and be friends with who I just knew was gonna be like the godparents to my children and whatnot don't talk to anymore it's just insane and it, it's not just me it's literally everyone I see around me like my mom Yesterday was Mother's Day. We were literally talking about how, like, we see each other in one another because of, like, certain experiences we go through. And, um, 
we're like, dang, both of our friend groups have changed so much. And sometimes it don't even be people's fault. It's literally just a way of life. But I swear no one prepared me for this. I stand by when people say, as your mindset change and as you grow and as you develop, your circle will change too. And it's some, it's most of the times for the best. Like literally God isn't even going to put things in your life until you are removed, until you remove certain people from your circle, from your circle. He won't propel you to the next level. And if you're bringing people who don't belong on that level with you. Even if y'all, even if that's your ace boom coon, it's like, dang. He won't. He won't. He literally won't. And you will feel the force of tension when it's happening. You trying to make it work. You trying to continue to build with this person. You you want the friendship, situation, relationship to work. God going to keep showing you that it's not supposed to in different ways. Like, just think, like, there's some couples out there who have been together for a real long time and then they finally, like, separate and then they just whoosh. Like, they skyrocket. Take De'Ara and Ken, for example. I feel like they are both experiencing so much more personal development and growth now that they separated. And sometimes you just can't take the person that you love dearly and truly to your heart with you to the next level. But expect it. I know that was the case until I started experiencing it for myself. Next up is don't live in fear and go for it. Every single time I think of any type of regrets I had in life, it's always because I didn't go for something that I was scared of or I thought I was going to fail at. And in doing so, I feel anyways because I didn't even give myself a shot. So it's like, why you count yourself out even before you try like, that's some punk type shit, if you ask me. Oh, I'm not supposed to be cursing no more. Punk type of uh, stuff, if you ask me. Oh, I might have put too much. Go for it. Do not live in fear. If it don't work out, it wasn't even meant for you to begin with. So why would you scare yourself out of a situation you didn't even try yet? Hmm? Hmm? Riddle me that, friend. Riddle me that. And yeah, the last one is so freaking cliche, but I don't care. I'm going to say it. Let go and let God, girl. I promise you, if you are, like, struggling in life or you're in this, like, area of change, you don't know what your next step should be. You don't know how to go about a situation. You are literally, like, fighting yourself and just having, like, an internal battle. Sometimes the answer is really just, like, letting go. So you can stop straining and, like basically putting yourself through hell trying to figure something out that you probably won't be able to it's just like let go relax ease your thoughts and just let god do his magic not trying to be preachy preachy baby but whenever i let go and let god it helps me so yeah i basically wrapped up my makeup this is how it came out it's eating yeah, this is like my go-to makeup routine. Like I said, if you guys have any questions you want to know, any products that I was using, the lip combo, girl, ask me in the comments and I will for sure tell you. Tell me how you feel about my opinions and what advice I gave y'all throughout this video. And if you are in your 20s, 30s, your teens, and you want to chime in and add to the conversation, please do so. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below what you want to see in my next video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye mamas